Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and um, just a quick start off guys many many thanks to who, everyone who subscribed recently it's just it's just, the subscribers are still going up super super quick so yeah let's see if we can get to 1600 before next month so that'll be December so yeah pretty crazy stuff just yeah cannot thank you guys enough it's just awesome but anyway today we're going to go ahead and making some more custom objects and this hasn't been a while since well it has been a while since i did it last time we made um some of the super blue stars so we made stars like um where was it we made um yeah mel it was melnick 34 so we made um this bad boy we made r136 or oh, r136c and then we also made did we make another one oh, no it's just those two it looks like yeah so these super luminous blue stars as you can see just by placing them here they've already melted like the solar system as we can see like jupiter it's getting too hot like these stars are very very dangerous and powerful so yeah but it's not just stars we're making today we've got a few new moons that some people have said and i've also got one of a uh, one um, also that I'm, I'm planning to make so let's just go into new simulation here before everything blows up so to start off with we will do the stars so we will we will base it off um, R1 again so yeah this one here because that, and this star actually has a few more friends that we need to make so if we go here I'm just reading the comment here so this star as we know is called R136A1 so this is like one of the brightest stars but that, that luminosity is just insane so we've got that star there but we've also got a comment saying there's actually an r136a2 and, and an a3 version so yeah we've got a lot more of these to make so we'll start off with making a2 so a2 has the radius of um i say 23.4 suns so we're going to go ahead and make this so radius sun 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 so sun where's it sun sun okay so 23.4 like that so it's a little smaller than um r136a1 then let's also go here so it has a mass of 195 so we're going to go ahead and do that as well so 195 like so let's go do that then um temperature at 53,000. so we'll go do that so 53 like so okay looking good and back to the comment again and the luminosity of that number i think that's four million or four million two hundred thousand ish so we're going to go ahead and paste that in there like so so looking good so i think that is that done and then we have to change the number one here to a number two like so so there's that so okay there we go um luminosity of sun so, so that's that star done so we're going to go ahead and save this bad boy so actually one thing i need to do is i need to put a space in front of it like that and if you're wondering why if i go ahead and save this then you'll notice in my custom objects you notice that i have all of the stars at the top well the reason for that is i put a space in front of all of the names so it puts them above all the planets i like it more organized you can see these ones down here they're quite annoying actually while i'm thinking about it let's go and do that now so we'll just get these two in so like that and we're going to go ahead and make sure we put a space in front of these guys names as well so let's do that and then melnick as well so we're going to go ahead and put a space in front of those like that so now they should um go at the top of my list so let's go ahead and save all those so now if we look in the menu here they should all be up here you can see them there perfect so now i can go ahead and delete the ones down there okay so there's um yeah melnick is there and then where's the other one r136c okay so yeah we can go ahead and delete these so they're not in the way anymore because it is quite annoying when you got just a bunch of planets and you just got one random star here so let's go ahead and delete those okay looking good so now we should have everything back to normal we've got all our stars up there we've got the black dwarf as well in the top left then down here we've got all of these objects okay looking good then we've got the black holes there some black or some weird object i think these are all just black hole prototypes that i never finished so okay that's pretty good right oh i've got the smallest moon ever discovered there we've got charlie Coat, and then we've got hyperion which is a moon of saturn i think wait oh no i think it's a i think it's an asteroid belt object but anyway so there's all the stars so now we need to get another um r1 in here so wait is that a new star there wait that wasn't there before Hey, is this a new star? What's this? I think this was added in the update because there's actually I'm planning to make some episodes on these new things here on the top left as you can see But the, I didn't know this was in the game. What is this? Okay, it's not a super bright star. It's only got 148 luminosity sun. It's only got three masses It's not really big, but that's a new star that definitely wasn't there anyone know what this is Apparently, it's a red giant even though it's blue. So that's pretty funny. Yeah, look at this uh, Mi Mirash, I think that's how it's pronounced. Yeah, type, it's a red giant, but it's not red. That, that's pretty weird. But anyways, yeah, enough of that. So let's get another R1 in. And we're going to make this into R1 A or R136A3. So let's name it like that. Now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and check the comments. So it has a radius of 19 suns. So 
a radius of 19. So let's go ahead and start off with that. Turn that off. That menu. Oh no! Oh, actually, no wait. I just I just mucked it up. No, nope. got a cookie to delete that. Whoops! I, pressing that padlock always mucks things up. So let's just get another one in like so. So let me just read the comment again. So it had a um, 19 sun radius. Okay. So let's go ahead and get you. So. Uh, 19 suns, sun, 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 radius, 19 suns, okay, so sun like that, turn that off, so we've got 19 suns radius, so small as well, a little smaller as well, let's also change the name back to A3, like so, then it has a 180 masses of sun, 180 masses of sun, so that's a 180, then it was 53,000 um, luminosity, I believe, or temperature, I believe that was, let me just check, a uh, luminosity, or, or no, not luminosity. Temperature is fifty-three thousand. Luminosity is um, three point eight million, I believe that is. So let's go ahead and paste that in there. So three point eight million. Yeah, surface temperature is fifty-three thousand. Yep, and um, oh, so it is three million eight hundred thousand. Okay, a luminosity of sun. So there we go. That is all of the mega stars. So let's go ahead and make sure we um, save you as well. Now I think I know why we're, I'm adding all of these, why you're commenting this. I reckon we should actually make the solar system with all of these stars in, because we've got, now we have, we've got R1 here, R136A1, then here we've got R136A2 and A3, and then we've got R136C, which I don't know what that star is. And then we've got Melnick as well, we could like, we could make the actual real solar system with these stars, because that would be cool. It'd be cool if that like, Universe Sandbox actually added it as a simulation, because that'd be cool. Yeah, we've got these stars here, so that's good. Now, what I want to do is, one of you guys commented I should add Iris's moon in. So it's a moon called Disomia. So we're just going to go ahead and check it isn't in the game already. So let's actually just go ahead and paste it in, actually, just so it's um, easier, because I don't particularly want to spell that. So let's um, do that, paste it in there. Yeah, I know I'm lazy. <laughs> and let's put a capital D. So is it in the game? Okay, it doesn't look like it. All right. A D, Y, S, anything? Okay, it's not in the game. Alright, so, let's just get Iris in for a start. So, here, here's Iris. So, let's get my custom one, of course. Gotta get the custom one in. So, here, here's my custom Iris. So, let's go to you. And actually, let's make the moon, uh, let's make the moon uh, Iris as well. We'll just base it off Iris. So, here, here, we've got two Irises here. So, they're a nice white, um, white dwarf planet. So, what we're going to do is... Right, so I actually just got, um, I just actually looked up the size of this um, object. So, it's a very, very small little object, apparently. Its um, its diameter is around 100 to 200 kilometers. So let me just try and think about that. So let's make it. There's no. It doesn't actually say what the radius is. Let's just make it 175, since no, we don't actually know how big it is. So this is this is um, okay. That that's how big the moon is. So around this size, the mass. I'm not, I'm not going to alter the mass because it's not really a problem. Let's just call it disomia like that. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. I think that's that done. So there's Disomia. Like that. So there we go. Got Iris and its little moon now. So pretty cool. And this moon also has a white custom trail as well, since I did base it off Iris. So got a cool custom trail object there. So there's that. Now one more thing I want to add before we end the episode off is I want to add a moon called Vamphin or Vamph. It's a moon of Orcus. So if you don't know what Orcus is, it's um, one of the dwarf planets as well. We've we've um, we've done an episode on it before. So let's just get Orcus in. So I do have a custom one as well. Okay, we'll use the custom one. So here's the custom Orcus. So it's a, it's known as the opposite Pluto because it's always on or it's right now it's on the opposite side of the sun to Pluto, and it usually is since they have a very very similar um, year. They're, I think they're both around three three hundred year orbit. I don't know precisely, but around that. So this has a moon called Vamp or V A N T H. I think I believe it is. So if I just go ahead and try and search this up, so moon Vamp. It's a yeah, it's a moon of Orcus. So let's have a look. So it's um, nine thousand or ninety thousand four hundred eighty-two Orcus is another name for it. So it's a very very small object as well. So if I can just try and find the radius of it here. So radius. I'm trying to trying to read. So it's a moon of Orcus. So radius, radius, radius. Um, see, it doesn't even say the radius. So. The, the diameter of Vamp is around 378. So let's just put it at 370, just so f f just to make it simple. So 370 radius, and we'll just base it off Orcus as well. So 370 radius. Wait, wait, did I, did I read that right? Um, 
Orcus is meant to be 700 and something, so if I just get... Oh, did my Orcus... Is my Orcus not the right size? Wait, hang on. That's the real... Is that... That's the real Orcus there. Oh, no, so my... No, no my Orcus is the wrong size. Okay. So it's actually 492. So if I just go ahead... So 492 like that. So that's how big it should be. So we'll just go ahead and resave that. So Vamp is meant to be around that size as well. So it's quite a large moon, it looks like. Um... Hmm, it's quite hard to find. Vamp, vamp, vamp is it radius? I'm trying to... Is it can't be that big. It must be a little smaller than that. Hmm, vamp, 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 vamp. See, it's just showing me a lot of stuff on Orcus. I want to know about vamp. Because <laughs> I know it's quite a small... It's a very small object, actually. Just 11 times fainter than the albedos. Okay, I don't know about the albedos. So I'm not really bothered about the albedos. Let me just try and find the radius, uh, vamp, um, the radius, like that. So, about 90 or so. So, 280 kilometers, um, so we need to put it to 280, so let's call it, um, vamp, like so, so V-A-N-T-H. And then it is, wait, oh, what was the number? Oh my god, my memory is so awful. 280, okay. So, yeah, V-A-N-T-H, and then 280. Okay, so let's go ahead and back into you. So, 280 like that. So, it's looks like it's quite large compared to, or like, it's like Pluto and Caron. It's quite large, but from what it's saying, it is 280 kilometers. Would be about 900 kilometers. And Vamp would be... So, yeah, Vamp is around 280 kilometers. So, it looks like that is our Vamp. So, let's just make it a gas giant so it has a different texture to Orcus, like that. There we go. So it's similar colour scheme and stuff, but yeah, 280 kilometers is exactly what we want. So we're going to go ahead and save that as well. So there's, there's no space there. All right, so there we go. So there we go. That is all of the custom objects. We've got Iris and Disomia there. Then we've got Orcus and Vamp. Yeah, but if that is wrong, someone please tell me the right radius because we can always edit it in another episode. And then and then let's get Pluto and Charon just to compare them. Why not? So Pluto and Charon. So there's Pluto. Yeah, Pluto's a lot bigger. Um, than Orcus's, and then Charon as well. And Charon, Charon, where, where was it? Uh, there we go. So, Pluto has the largest moon by miles, but remember, Pluto is slightly bigger than Eris um, in the game. So there, there's um, there's all the moons there. So looking good. So yeah, poor, poor old Orcus is a lot smaller than all of these. Look, um, it's a little bigger than Eris's moon. But yeah, there's there's the, all of the dwarf planets and their moons. And then we've got all of these mega stars we've made. So now we can line them all up properly. So. Let's get R1 in here as well. R1 is um, R1. Okay, there's R1. So we've got R1. Then we've got R R1 2. So yeah, R136 A. Damn, I can never, can never say this. R136 A1. Then we've got R136 A2. Then we've got R136 A3. Yeah, we should definitely try and make this solar system. Oh no, that's R136 C. Then we've got R there's number three, and then we've got this number C1. I don't know about this star. And then Melnick is there. So these are all of our custom blue superstars. Then obviously you've got um, Eta Carone A and B. They're also very bright stars as well. Eta Carone B is so much smaller than A. And then we've got the Pistol Star, which is also a very bright star. So yeah, we have got a big lineup of bright stars now. And then we've got this weird Mirach star, which is apparently a red giant that is blue for some reason. So pretty cool stars to play around with here. So yeah, should we try and make the R1 solar system? I should uh, Maybe I can look into it and try and do it, but... Should be quite an interesting. I'm guessing these stars don't have planets because I really don't see how planets could survive around stars this bright. Like the the luminosity on these guys is insane. Like look at this. Look at the luminosity in all these stars. Like look at this. Pretty crazy stuff. There's a pistol star as well. So yeah, this is still the king though. This is the king of universe sandbox for destroying planets because it is the brightest star. Remember, it even destroyed Jupiter and Saturn. So this thing is immensely powerful. So there's that. And then we've got the poor little dwarf planets down here, which will just get incinerated as soon as I hit play. And they're pretty much gone. Look, look at this. Oh my god. Well, Pluto ate them all up, but Pluto probably won't survive much longer with these stars. Yeah, look, it's just vaporized. Look, look. <laughs> in a few hours it took. And all oh, the blue stars. Oh god. Yeah, so there we go, guys. So hopefully you all enjoyed this um, episode as these objects all just die. Wait, I did say vamp, right? Wait, did I? Please say I did. Vamp, vamp, vamp. Um, yeah, there it is. Okay, so we've got it saved. All right, so we've got all the objects saved, which is good. And as you can see, all the blue stars are just having a battle out. And I'm pretty sure Ata Karen A will win since it's the largest one. But maybe not since R1 does have more mass, I believe. So this is pretty crazy. And then we've got all of our new custom stars here, so... 
pretty cool lineup now so yeah many thanks for um, watching the video guys hopefully you'll enjoy make sure you did leave that like button subscribe for more any comments um, for any other video ideas or custom objects feel free to leave them down below and yeah that is that so let's go ahead and see what will win so let's just remove all the fragments so who's gonna win then come on guys come on collide please looks like the pistol star just lost some mass there since it's too close to the other stars anyways it's um whole tool velocities now they're all gonna combine into one big object so let's see what we got here here we go oh any second now oh that was a big explosion oh look at all these supernovas and then whole velocities they're gonna come back together and look the little little stars still alive yay there we go come on Lenny. come on come on guys come back whole velocities come on please let's delete the novas okay let's just go in chart mode actually this is a good idea then just go radius make life then, then we'll slow down time again. Well, we're going way too fast in time. So slow down to a few hours. And it's just a go. Yeah, we've got to blow all that. Like, we always blow stuff up at the end of the episode. So hold velocities, hit play. And I don't know what that star's doing. <laughs> Ata Karen 8, what are you doing? I halted your velocity. What are you thinking? Okay, let's um, just put the velocity to zero. Oh, now Pistol Star wants to go. Just collide already. Okay, they don't want to collide, guys. Um, try that. Oh, they just went straight through. Okay, this simulation is a little bugged out. But yeah, yeah, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like and all that. And yeah, make sure you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.